in this session let us see two beautiful questions this question is sent by raj okay so for a dc shunt machine running at 500 rpm hysteria losses they have given eddy current loss they have given the speed of the machine at which the total core loss are reduced by 30 percent is okay see here hysteresis loss okay means for a shunt machine for example she is a shunt machine okay so in shunt machine if you think of rated voltage has been supplied here what is the shunt field here shunt flux created by this is going to be constant so flux is going to be constant okay so flux is going to be constant okay now what is hysteresis loss hysteresis loss directly proportional to b max to the power of x into f okay so in transformers we have seen b max to the power of x flux is constant and like you know the machine is already fixed so the my area is constant and flux is also constant so flux density will be constant directly proportional frequency now how frequency is going to be generated okay for example if i think of n pole here if i think of s pole here okay which is going to be stator and for example if i rotate the rotor okay now for example my conductor is here i am rotating the rotor in this direction then as of now induced voltage is zero positive maximum zero negative maximum zero so if i rotate the rotor by one revolution one cycle will come okay so if i rotate the rotor faster like you know frequency will be more so frequency is directly proportional to speed or not yes so hysteresis losses is directly proportional to speed which is nothing but some proportionality constant into speed now let us think of eddy current loss eddy current loss directly proportional to voltage square independent of frequency i told you previously okay slight change will happen for example means let me do normally and after that i'll tell you why i said frequency voltage square is directly proportional to b max square f square transformer okay so b max is directly proportional to b by f that way okay so b is constant so directly proportional to frequency square so directly proportional to speed square okay so this is going to be some ke into speed square now you can ask me sir like you know in transformers we discussed like you know the uh, d current laws are independent of frequency yes now also i'm saying the same okay now also eddy current laws that will be directly decided by voltage only okay now for, for example how much is the induced voltage here induced voltage is nothing but b l v okay now this velocity velocity means if velocity is more for example i'm rotating faster faster under that conditions induced voltage will be more so velocity directly depends upon speed so directly proportional to speed square okay so anyway like you know whatever the data is given with this data what are the things hysteresis loss they have given 250 watt okay equal to some kh into speed now how much is kh is nothing but 250 by speed 500 rpm so this is going to be 0.5 keep it aside okay and what is ke ke is going to be for example a current loss okay eddy current loss equal to 150 watt okay so eddy current loss equal to ke into n square so what is ke is going to be 150 by n is 500 square okay now you got kh and you got ke now what is the question the speed of the machine at which the total core loss are reduced by 30 percent or reduced to 70 percent so total core loss mu is going to be 70 percent of previous 250 plus 150 400 so this is going to be previous is going to be 0.7 into 250 300 400 okay 280 watt equal to equal to history is last place decan class kh is 0.5 so 0.5 into n plus this is going to be uh, what is a ke 150 by 500 square ke into n square okay so is going to be 280 so means 0.5 into n plus something into n square equal to 280 now can you solve for speed or not yes 
okay now in the exam like you know rather than uh, like you know minus b plus or minus like you know b square minus 4ac under root divided by 2a rather than that in this equation let us keep individually okay now total losses has to be reduced total losses has to be reduced means that my speed of the rotor has to be reduced means that this and this cannot be right answers okay now only this and this now keep this in this equation where you are going to get 250 or sorry 280 are not check you will not get keep this 383.5 in the equation you will get 280 so answer is b okay now let us think of another question in this question you know actually this is very beautiful question from parker smith okay very beautiful question wonderful question till now in our gate uh, they did not give such kind of question find a minimum number of poles for a 1200 kilowatt generator if the average voltage between commutator segments not to exceed 15 volts and armature ampere turns per pole not to exceed 10,000 ampere turns okay so see here let us think of for example between commutator segments not to exceed 15 volts okay how my winding will be for example this is the lap winding progressive for example don't bother about all these things okay progressive retroactive and all these are not at all required okay so this this will be connected to commutator okay now voltage across commutator segments actually in our dc machine okay dc machine capacity in the outside world can be like you know 125 volts fine 200 volts fine 500 volts too much thousand volts you will not find thousand volts dc generator or motor in your life why because commutator okay about this we will discuss in the detailed course okay so actually the main problem of dc machine is for example in alternator 11 kv is very common in uh, transformer 400 kv is also there okay now induction motor 5.5 kv or ht motor high tension motors will be there okay so point but in dc machine always voltage capacity will be very small because of commutator or because of voltage across adjacent commutator segments should not be more than 25 to 30 volts because some reasons we will discuss in detail course okay now commutator segments not to exceed 15 volts so across this you should not be more than 15 volts is the condition design constraint now across this commutator segments what are there see here come with me like one conductor conductor induced voltage plus another conductor induced voltage okay so induced voltage in across commutator segments edges and commutator segments means that induced voltage in a turn or in a coil okay so in you about how many number of conductors are there in a coil they did not give so number of turns in a coil is going to be only one so induced voltage see here induced voltage in a conductor is ec induced voltage in a conductor is ec is going to be too easy okay so let us think of two times induced voltage in a conductor should be 15 volts okay now induced voltage in a conductor should be 7.5 volts right in this what is ec p pi n by 60 go through the derivation so ec equal to p pi n by 60 equal to 7.5 keep it aside okay now what else they have given minimum number of poles for a 1200 kilowatt okay what is 1200 kilowatt eia eia equal to 1200 kilowatt okay what is e by z n by 60 into p by a into i a equal to 1200 okay so in this in this p pi n by 60 equal to 7.5 p pi n by 60 equal to 7.5 so it will become 7.5 z i a by a 7.5 z i a by a equal to 1200 keep it aside keep it aside okay now let us extend what is that armature ampere turns per pole not to exceed 10,000 armature ampere turns per pole what is armature ampere turns per pole FER okay so what is FER means ampere turns ampere turns per pole okay is how much 10,000 
okay now let us combine these three okay so z a by a so z a by a z a by a equal to 1200 by 7.5 so 1200 by 7.5 into 2 p equal to 10,000 okay so 1200 by 15 p equal to 10,000 calculate p okay you will get answer of 8 okay so this is also actually very beautiful problem